What's going on guys, it's Pixelated, and if you're a new sneakerhead or old sneakerhead or just someone who's casually into sneakers and just hopped on here for like a single review, chances are you know Fragment Design. Hailed by streetwear legend Hiroshi Fujiwara, Fragment Design has influenced so much of sneaker and streetwear culture. I don't know where to start. His collaborators have spanned from Nike to Converse to Sakai before they even blew up and many many more including a convenience store in Japan also known as the Konbini because that's Japanese for convenience store. I mean who else do you know has collaborated with a damn Konbini? My point is he's done a lot but sneakerheads mainly know him for his signature Jordan collab the Jordan 1 Royal Toe. This thing is hailed as a masterpiece at the time of its release no one had ever seen a Jordan 1 with the black toe color blocking but with blue leather panels instead of the red. Of course the Jordan 1 has been fleshed out with so many new colorways and different redesigns now but back in that time that was really hailed as a groundbreaking design choice. And this time he's collaborated on the Converse X 7 Montclair X Fragment Chuck 70 low or chuck 70 ox i'm just gonna call it the chuck 70 low for simplicity's sake as with most of hiroshi's design executions it's quite clear that he's taken his signature minimalist approach with these as well his belief is that when he's working on something that's already a classic design like a jordan 1 for example or chuck 70 lows in this case that are already considered timeless and classic silhouettes he doesn't want to change the design but rather put more of a focus on it by modifying it in minimal ways that complement it you can see it right here with the chucks that i'm holding that he's definitely sticking to that and doing that with these as well the Chuck 70 released in a white colorway and a black colorway. I have the white colorway right here obviously. I got the black pair as well but it didn't end up showing up on time for this review. These sneakers retail for 130 US dollars and 140 Canadian dollars which is not bad at all. I mean yeah considering that they're Chuck Lowe's Yes, that's a higher price than usual, but it's still a lot more affordable than most shoes. Now for a lot of us sneakerheads out there who are sort of building a collection or just enjoy having a collection, it's almost a privilege to have, I shouldn't say privilege because you're spending money on this, but it's a really exciting thing to have a fragment collab in your collection and this is a very easy way, very affordable entry points to getting that in your collection. These did sell out immediately after release, but they're going for really affordable prices in the aftermarket, so I've left a link in the description where you can guarantee to get your size so if you're interested definitely go ahead and check that out now before we move forward please make sure to hit that like button if you end up enjoying the video please make sure to hit that subscribe button because that allows me to bring more videos to you guys and please make sure to hit the noti bell to join noti gang and so you don't miss out on future videos now you probably heard me mention that seven montclair is one of the collaborators on these sneakers and you're probably wondering what is that the actual brand montclair or is it something else what the heck is it? Well, 7 Montclair is an initiative taken by the fashion house Montclair to collaborate with other fashion houses and designers, and I guess Hiroshi Fujiwara happens to be the first of which they've collaborated with, hence this current collaboration. And now that we've cleared that up, let's get into the materials. The Fragment X Converse Chuck Low is pretty standard when it comes to the materials. The upper is made entirely of canvas. On the white colorway, it's all white, obviously. White tongue, white stitching. On the black pair, we've got black canvas with white stitching, which obviously makes for a better contrast. I'm surprised they didn't do that with the white pair. We've got this stitching on the side that creates a rectangle and it's pretty unnoticeable to the point that one might not question it. But if you look inside, there's actually a silky textured patch with Montclair slash fragment text and lines on it, presumably where you can write your info out to let people know that the shoe belongs to you. It's a unique touch, probably not one that would influence me to buy these, but I can appreciate it. The back of the tongue has something similar as with all chucks. We've got the standard silver metal rings reinforcing the eyelets, white flat laces. This is the first truck I've bought in a while that doesn't come with at least one extra set of alternative laces. But I've only been buying unique collabs so it's not really a hit or miss. What's really unique about this upper is the exaggerated foxing around the middle of the shoe. If you don't know what that is, it's this really thick black stripe going around the part of the shoe where the upper and midsole meet. It's typically much smaller and subtle to the point you don't even pay it any mind. On most shoes, here it's exaggerated so you can't help but notice it. It might be the only thing that you notice on these shoes to be honest. It has a little text on the outer heel portion of the shoe. Another standout feature of the shoe is this silky textured ribbon running up the heel. It's got the 7 Montclair logo and signature fragment lightning bolt stamp. The insole has a split black and white design with the black portion on the heel and all types of fragment Montclair Converse branding on it. Finally, we have a white midsole with a black stripe going through the middle and another subtle but unique hit on the Converse stamp on the heel. We can see a fragment logo on the top left and branding on the bottom right. Standard brown rubber outsoles for traction. When it comes to sizing, these shoes fit like any other Chuck Lowe's. They fit a full size down. My true to size is size 10 and I typically wear a size 9 in Chuck 70 highs as well as lows. These are no exception. I got these in a size 9 and they fit me perfectly. 
I gotta say, I'm not typically a chucklo kind of guy, but these do seem like they'd be the perfect summer fall shoe, so long as fall isn't too cold wherever you are. When it comes to comfort, there's not much to say here. We've got the classic chucklo upper. It's all canvas, not much support there. It does have a reinforced heel and the padded insole gives you decent enough comfort compared to other flat-footed classic shoes like Vans, for example, which have no padding or cushioning at all. That's my review of the Converse X7 Montclair X. Too many fashion houses, Converse chucklos. All kidding aside, these are decent casual sneakers. Even if you find them as underwhelming as I do, if you're a fan of Hiroshi's work, the appeal is there, his design philosophy is still intact with the exaggerated foxing and the minimal changes everywhere else. Once again, these are sold out everywhere, but they're going for very decent prices in the aftermarket, like $30, $40 above retail. So I've left a link in the description where you can go ahead and get your size guaranteed for a very decent price. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Pixelated is going to a convenience.